Harlem Renaissance was a cultural, social, and artistic explosion that took place in Harlem, New York, spanning the 1920s. During the time, it was known as the New Negro Movement, named after the 1925 anthology by Alan Locke. The, mo the, mo the movement also included the new African-American cultural expressions across the urban areas in the North, East, and the North and the Midwest United States affected by African American great migration of what Harlem was the largest. Harlem Renaissance was considered to be a rebirth of African American arts. Through it, it was centered in the Harlem neighborhood in Manhattan, New York. Many African Americans were pushovers because they were easy to overcome in the 1920s. The Harlem Renaissance is generally considered to have spanned from about 19. 18 until the mid 1930s. The 1920s has been called the golden age of American sports. It also has been called the age of the spectator. The United States had a strong economy for the m most of that decade. New and bigger stadiums and gymnasiums were built. The introduction of radio made it easier for fans to keep up with their favorite teams. Newspapers increased their coverage of sports. Improvements in roads made it possible for fans to travel to athletic events in distant cities. For the, sit for the first time, large numbers of Americans began to pay money to watch other people compete in athletic contests. Baseball was the national pastime. In the 1920s, more people went to baseball games. More people followed baseball, and more people played baseball for the f for fun than any other sport. The most famous athlete in the United States in the 1920s was baseball star Babe Ruth, the Big Cheese. He was the right footer for the New York Yankees. The colorful Ruth hit more home runs than any other player had ever hit before. He excited fans with his outgoing personality. Ruth was the perfect hero for the Roaring Twenties. When World War I ended in 1918 and the troops came home, folks felt optimistic about the future and eager to get on with their lives. The optimism led to an extraordinary decade that brought major changes in the way citizens traveled by rails on roads and in the air. Although the blueprints for the modern automobile was perfect, perfected in Germany and France in the late 1800s, Americans dominated in the industry in the first half of the 20th century. Henry Ford innovated mass production techniques that became standard with Ford, General Motors, and Chrysler emerging as the big three. Auto companies by the 1920s manufacturers funneled their resources to the military during World War II, and afterward, automobile production in Europe and Japan. The industry be had became become shared global enterprise with the rise of Japan as the leading automaker. 1924 cars are jalopy because they are really old cars.